everyone. I am Maru Filvi from Department of English. My seminar topic is criterion difference and norm difference. Crit norm difference and criterion difference are two prominent methods that serve different purpose and offer unique insights into student learning process. Next one is the difference between criterion based and norm difference to assessment. The primary difference between the two types of assessment lies in their objectives and outcome. Norm reference assessment aims to sort and rank students offer for competitive purpose like college admission. Criterion difference assessment are more concerned with whether a student has achieved specific learning goals. Next one is Norm reference test and criterion difference test. These tests allow us to compare students perform with each other. Are students performing how children their age are normally expected to perform? Percentage scaled scores stand, stand nice and grade equivalence or the norms of a new state. Next in criterion difference to test. This test allows student performs to be compared to criterion or benchmark to determine mastery of a skill or standard. This type of assessment is typically passed by fail based on whether or not students meet a predetermined criteria. The student scores are usually shown as percentage. Next one example. Norm reference test for example for star reading assessment, star mat assessment, Y forward exam. Criteria different test example for district common formative assessment developed around the common core state standards. Next one is standardist and non-standardist assessment. There are five types. First and formative assessment. These are ongoing logistic test like quizzes and classroom discussion that provide immediate feedback. Next one is summative assessment. These are high stakes task administered test administered at the end of unit or course like final exam. Next one diagnostic assessment. These are three assessment used to identify student needs and tailor instruction accordingly. Next one ipsative assessment. This measure is student's improvement over time often comparing past and current performance. Last one is authentic assessment. These are real world tasks that require students to apply their skills and knowledge such as creating a project or giving a presentation. Next one is Thank you.